In this video, we'll be going over a convert sorted array to binary search tree. So give me an array where elements are sorted in ascending order converted to a high balanced BST. For this problem, a high balanced binary tree is defined as a binary tree in which the depth of two subtrees of every node never differs by more than one. So now for example, we're giving a sorted array, negative 10, negative 3, 0, and 5, and 9, and then we generate a balanced binary search tree. We get the following tree. So let's go over the dot process. So we are given an array nums of sorted numbers, sorted values. Which number should we pick to be the roots of the current subtree? We will, we will want to pick the node that's exactly in the middle because we want to be high balanced. So the, the values on the left side can be the values on the left subtree and the values on the right side can be on the right subtree. We will want to pick the middle value or we should say the value at the mid index to be the roots of our current subtree. This will allow elements to the left of mid to be the no values for the left subtree. Then the elements to the right of mid will be the no values for the right subtree. We will be keeping track of our current boundaries. So let's go over a pseudocode. So we'll implement a recursive approach to generate a tree. And then what parameters do we need? The first it will be the input array, and then left the current left boundary will be initially zero. And then the right boundary will be initially at the last index. So nums.length minus one. And then what is the base case? If left is greater than right, there are no more values to pick to be our node. So we can return null as a, so we have an invalid node. Or we don't have any more values to pick to create a node, so we're going to return no. So in each of the recursive call, calculate the mid index. Mid is equal to left plus right minus left divided by two, and then generates a root node with nums mid. And then we're going to recursively generate the left subtree of roots. This will mean our right side has to be updated to mid minus one. And then we're going to recursively generate the right subtree of roots, which means the left has to be updated to mid plus one. And then we're going to return roots, the newly generated tree. And then we go over to time and space complexity. So the time complexity is O of n, where n is the length of the input array. Visit each index once to generate a node, or yes, a root node of the current subtree. Now, space complexity is go to O of H plus O of N. Now, our O of H is the recursive call stack memory. And now, O of N is the newly generated tree. Now, let's go over the code. So we're going to implement the recursive approach, keeping track of our current left and right boundaries. If left is, is greater than right, we don't have no more values to generate a node, so we return node. And then we calculate the mid index. Generate a new tree node with with the value at the mid index. And then generate the left subtree. 
then generate the right subtree. And then return the newly generated tree. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.